guys welcome to the channel so we're coming right along with this organizing thing and let me go in here because this is where the window is but I finally got our meal plan up on this dry erase board so how we're gonna do it is a 14 day meal plan so it's gonna go from Monday to Sunday and then Monday to Sunday and we're gonna make our Sundays um, our off days so that we can go grocery shopping since it takes a long time since we're in the store for hours at a time at the grocery store and so that it's not any stress as far as making sure we're back to fix dinner get the kids ready for school and stuff like that we're just gonna make Sundays our off days so anyways I finally got around to doing our board so I'll show you that here in just a minute as far as what our meals are gonna be for this week and next week we're already on Wednesday so I'm about to get dinner started um, but better late than never right so anyways um, the Kroger mega event buy five save five event is still going on today starts a new week at Kroger for us or a new day for new deals rather so I think we're done for the month you guys like honestly um, my sister went dumpster diving for a whole bunch of coupon inserts and we went ham a couple of days ago and I just we just figured out some type of organization with all of this stuff because we don't have any shelves here and so we went to the Dollar Tree the other day to get like baskets and stuff like that and then we're utilizing some of the baskets that we had left over from redoing the kitchen cabinets and stuff um, but let me just show you guys all of the stuff that we ended up getting I mean for really cheap at that I mean we were able to get in on the scrubbing bubble deal we were able to get in with the club crackers deals um, a lot of feminine products shampoos conditioners even some deodorant you know so let me show you guys that really quick so here you guys this is my stash actually now everything that we purchase we pretty much split in half we split the transactions in half and we had so much stuff like we honestly had to have spent at least two three hundred dollars um before coupons and store discounts on all of this stuff and this is just my stash so we went to the dollar oh don't mind that that's trash i was doing a little decluttering down here in this room trying to eliminate any unnecessary trash down here but anyways so we went to the dollar tree and i was thinking well we don't have any shelves so why not just use like baskets you know so this is the laundry basket full of all feminine products that was from a previous deal but y'all the deal this week was the kotex these were free items if you had the buy two get three dollars off of tampons and panty liners and pads and stuff like that so we went ham on that and so with the um several trips of coupon and this is what i've accumulated in feminine products then this is my shampoo basket this is something you guys already saw that but this is all of the um suave i don't know if you guys can see that i would pick it up but it's like heavy so sorry you guys but the suave deal the whole blends deals the Garnier Fructis. Um, I even did an Aussie deal because I really wanted to try Aussie. By the way, I washed my hair yesterday. And <laughs> first impressions, I really, really like the Aussie conditioner. I had a chance to use this 3-Minute Moisture Miracle um, Deep Conditioner, so that was good. So I used this basket to put, like, all of the little stuff in. In here is, like, deodorant, soaps, and all that all of the toothpaste even though we had these small crests let me see if i could turn the light on but yeah even though we had these small crests we did go ahead because we had two dollars off of crest um coupons and they were on the mega event for 199 so we got a bunch of the regular size ones and so yeah that's it with the couponing thing and then oh let me take you guys in here because this is where the majority of our household stuff is at. This is what we've accumulated in the month of August between the both of us. We worked together to get a couponing, uh, to get a stockpile on. I don't know why this is right here, so let's move this. But this is the table. Um, 
of all of our stuff so all the scrubbing bubbles the gain let me tell y'all a thing with the gain so we used gain coupons and my sister taught me a trick she was like the if you check the barcode on the coupon all of the gain coupons here now I can't say this is for everywhere but for here in Atlanta they start with 3700 if you look on the back of the item the item starts with 3700 I don't know if this will focus but yeah 3700 so even though the coupon was for detergent um, liquid detergent you know when you wash your clothes or whatever they work on these dish detergents as long as it doesn't go over the three dollar price you dig so just a little hint for that and then with the tide we use um, three dollar off pure clean coupons they also worked for these yellow bottles again same thing as long as it didn't go over same barcode or whatever on the coupon as the product see 3700 um, as long as it didn't go over the price of the coupon so like if the coupon was for three dollars off when you buy one as long as the tie didn't go over three dollars then the coupon scanned um, so of course we stocked up on a bunch of tide um, which pretty much ended up being free for us because we had a couple of other deals we were doing multiple transactions so that the overage of some of the transactions would apply to whatever the tide ended up being if that makes sense or to pay for the tide if that makes sense um, so like for example if the well no let me take that back because I think these were 399 so that extra 99 cents with the overage of some of the other items that we had plus the three dollar off coupon paid for the difference in the tide if that makes sense and then we caught the fantastic deal the scrubbing bubbles deal here's how the Kroger over here did y'all they were out of the scrubbing bubbles but they stocked up on it and then they took the sales tag off I guess so that they wouldn't run out because I guess they realized that people were loading up on this deal so they took the tag off but it still rung up at the um, register I want to say like a dollar something or something but anyways we got a whole bunch of scrubbing bubbles they were they cost a little to nothing um, all of our transactions we had so many transactions and plus we had some food so of course you don't see that down here but um, we did so many household cleaning product um, transactions and literally neither one of us spent over 20 25 dollars um, this club cracker deal was a good deal however I did miss the Ibotta um, I waited a day late to actually redeem it but there was like a 75 cents off when you get the club minis they were $1.49 so that would make them 75 cents but I missed out on that but still $1.49 is not bad so of course we loaded up on that and then this is the other stuff that y'all have seen from previous hauls the barbecue sauce 49 cents um, we had already done that deal or she did but I just brought it down here to go with the rest of the barbecue sauce and then of course we caught the Capri Suns so yeah this is what we managed to pull off in the month of August and August is not even over yet it's just the 16th I think so yeah okay so here is our meal plan so by the way this is gonna be a really really short video today there's not a lot going on today um, but anyways this is our meal plan so 14 days starting from uh, Wednesday so Monday we had crock pot barbecue chicken with collard greens mac and cheese we tried the Oprah's mac and cheese I personally didn't care for it too much I prefer like homemade um, it kind of tasted like box mac and cheese to me I don't know it was just something and then the noodles didn't seem like they were cooked all the way um, they were kind of like al dente, al dente, al dente, if you, if you will. But I didn't really care for the Oprah's uh, refrigerated or frozen mac and cheese. No offense, Oprah, love you, girl, but that mac and cheese was 
not the business um and then yesterday we had leftovers so we were out of greens we were out of the mac and cheese so to go with the crock pot barbecue chicken that was left over i made the kids baked beans and green beans so they ate all of that so new meal today will be sweet and sour chicken white or brown rice i haven't decided which one just yet and we had one more can of green peas left um normally here we get frozen vegetables um, my sister um, prefers frozen vegetables and then so she had just one canned vegetable left um, most of the cans that we have are like diced tomatoes beans ravioli tuna sardines uh, chili you know stuff like that but there's no canned veggies like green beans peas carrots corn or anything like that so the next time we go to the grocery store which will be Sunday we will be stocking up on frozen vegetables um, so hamburger helper will be for tomorrow um, pizza night we're making Friday's designated pizza night um, the reason why we didn't do taco Tuesday was because Sunday after we went couponing <laughs> it was such a long process that we didn't even we were just like bump it um, we'll just do taco night that night and then keep it moving so when the kids got home from school their snack was the leftover tacos and so that held them until the the chicken and all that was done later that night um so yeah they ate the rest of it yesterday uh wednesday is today so sweet and sour chicken rice and peas tomorrow will be hamburger helper um, pizza night is Fridays Saturdays is kind of like free for all so the kids they normally get up eat cereal or oatmeal for lunch they may have sandwiches or chicken tenders or something like that um, and for dinner they can eat whatever so they can either eat another sandwich <laughs> or they can eat cereal or they can eat tuna and crackers you know whatever they prefer um, we're gonna try not to do cooking a whole lot of cooking on Saturdays um, because we we both work most of the day so that kind of frees up our time as well from having to figure out well what are we going to cook the kids you know um so sunday will be spaghetti with meat sauce um that will be one of the items that we pick up from the store spaghetti noodles because we are all out and then monday next week there should be leftovers of spaghetti then Tuesday, instead of taco night, it'll, well, it'll be Mexican night or however you want to say it or Spanish night, but it'll be chicken quesadillas with Mexican rice. So Mexican rice is something we'll also pick up from the store or I'll pull a recipe offline to make it from scratch. Um, Wednesday, we'll do baked chicken, roasted bread potatoes, and broccoli. Thursday, Wednesday, I'm going to make enough of that so that there's leftovers on Thursday. Pizza night is Friday, Saturday is free for all. And then Sunday, we have a package of pork loin. So we'll bake that, have some corn, which is an item that we'll have to pick up from the store um, Sunday, this upcoming Sunday, because I, we're, we're trying to figure out if we should go to the store every Sunday or every other Sunday. So just in case we do every other Sunday, I'll pick up all of the items that are needed for the upcoming week's meal plan just in case um oh and i just realized i spelled hamburger wrong but anyways so uh corn and mashed potatoes and we already have some potatoes to make mashed potatoes with so that's our meal plan from this past monday to um this upcoming sunday and then next monday through next Sunday.
Okay, you guys, simple dinner for a school night. I cooked the chicken all the way through and used this Campbell Salsa Skillet Packet. Um, we got it on Manager Special for 89 cents. It's sesame chicken. All you do is brown the chicken and then um, add the sauce and green peas. And then um, got some rice cooking. So as soon as that's done, the kids can eat and it took less than 30 minutes i literally started cooking this around seven so that's it thank you guys for visiting my channel comment like and subscribe and i'll see you on the next one bye